If you're staring at lifeless, compacted soil that seems beyond redemption, June presents the perfect opportunity to deploy nature's most powerful soil rehabilitation specialists. These five plants don't just survive in poor soil, they actively transform it into fertile, living earth through remarkable biological processes that work around the clock. After decades of watching these botanical miracle workers revive the most hopeless garden disasters, I can confidently say that planting them in June gives you the maximum growing season to witness their transformative power. Crimson Clover, the Nitrogen Powerhouse Crimson Clover stands as the undisputed champion of soil nitrogen fixation, capable of pumping up to 150 pounds of nitrogen per acre directly from the atmosphere into your soil. This legume forms symbiotic relationships with rhizobia bacteria in its root nodules, essentially creating tiny nitrogen factories throughout your garden beds. Fava beans top the list of nitrogen fixers, deriving 90% of their nitrogen from fixation, but Crimson Clover offers unique advantages for June planting in degraded soils. The magic happens below ground where Crimson Clover's extensive root system breaks through compacted layers while depositing nitrogen-rich nodules that feed future plants for years. Unlike annual vegetables that extract nutrients, Crimson Clover gives back more than it takes, building soil fertility with every passing day. Planted in June, and by fall you'll have gorgeous crimson blooms attracting pollinators, while the roots work tirelessly to restore soil biology. Crimson Clover thrives in poor soils where other plants struggle, making it perfect for problem areas that need serious rehabilitation. The plant tolerates pH levels from 5.0 to 8.0 and actually performs better in low fertility conditions because it doesn't compete with established vegetation. After the first frost kills the above ground growth, simply till the residue into the soil for an instant boost of organic matter and slow release nitrogen. Cowpeas, the heat loving soil builder. Cowpeas, also known as black eyed peas, excel in hot summer conditions that stress other nitrogen fixers making them ideal for June plantings in challenging climates. These remarkable legumes fix substantial amounts of atmospheric nitrogen while producing edible pods, giving you both soil improvement and food production from the same plant. Their deep taproot system breaks through hard pan layers that prevent water infiltration and root penetration in damaged soils. The cowpea's aggressive growth habit allows it to quickly establish ground cover that suppresses weeds while adding organic matter to depleted soils. The plant's extensive root system creates channels that improve soil drainage and aeration, essential factors for reviving compacted earth. As the roots decompose, they leave behind nitrogen-rich organic matter and improved soil structure that benefits subsequent crops for multiple growing seasons. Cowpeas demonstrate remarkable drought tolerance once established, making them perfect for regions with unpredictable summer rainfall. They actually prefer lean soils over rich ones, directing more energy into nitrogen fixation when soil fertility is low. This characteristic makes cowpeas particularly valuable for rehabilitating severely degraded sites where other plants might fail to establish. Buckwheat, the phosphorus liberator. While not a nitrogen fixer, buckwheat earns its place through extraordinary abilities to unlock phosphorus and other nutrients trapped in poor soils. This fast-growing pseudo-cereal produces organic acids that dissolve phosphorus compounds that other plants cannot access, essentially mining nutrients from the soil and making them available to future crops. Buckwheat can complete its entire life cycle in just 60, 90 days, making it perfect for quick soil improvement between main crops. The plant's shallow, fibrous root system creates extensive organic matter in the top soil layers where most biological activity occurs. Buckwheat roots release exudates that feed beneficial soil microorganisms, rebuilding the microbial communities that healthy soils require. The rapid biomass production means you're adding substantial organic matter to depleted soils in just two to three months. Buckwheat's white flowers attract beneficial insects that pollinate other crops and control pest populations, creating ecosystem benefits beyond soil improvement. The plant tolerates poor drainage and low pH conditions that challenge other soil-building crops, making it invaluable for truly difficult sites. After flowering, simply mow and incorporate the biomass into the soil for immediate organic matter addition. Lupine, the aluminum tolerator. Lupine species possess unique abilities to thrive in acidic aluminum toxic soils that kill most other plants, making them essential for rehabilitating severely damaged earth. These nitrogen-fixing legumes not only tolerate toxic soil conditions but actually improve them by adding organic matter and nitrogen, 
while their deep roots bring up nutrients from lower soil layers, Russell lupine varieties offer spectacular flower spikes that add ornamental value while performing serious soil rehabilitation work. The lupine's distinctive cluster root system releases organic acids that neutralize aluminum toxicity while mobilizing phosphorus and other nutrients. This biological soil remediation process creates growing conditions that allow other plants to establish once the lupine has done its pioneering work. The plant's ability to fix nitrogen in hostile soil conditions makes it invaluable for sites where other legumes fail to establish effective rhizobia relationships. Lupine's deep taproot can penetrate compacted subsoils, creating channels for water infiltration and root penetration by future crops. The plant's biomass production in poor soils often exceeds that of conventional soil building crops, providing substantial organic matter additions even in challenging conditions. After establishment, lupine often self-seeds, creating ongoing soil improvement with minimal maintenance. Daikon Radish, the Living Rototiller Daikon Radish transforms soil structure through pure mechanical action, with massive tap roots penetrating up to three feet deep through the hardest compacted layers. These biological rototillers create permanent channels that improve drainage and allow subsequent crop roots to penetrate previously impenetrable soil layers. The radish's rapid growth means visible soil improvement within months of June planting. The decomposing radish roots leave behind organic matter deep in the soil profile where it feeds beneficial organisms and improves water holding capacity. Unlike surface organic matter that can wash away, this deep organic matter creates lasting soil improvement that benefits crops for multiple seasons. The radish's ability to scavenge nutrients from deep soil layers and concentrate them in easily decomposed tissues makes it an excellent nutrient cycling plant. Daikon radish grows quickly enough to provide ground cover that prevents erosion while the roots work below ground. The plant tolerates poor soils and continues growing into fall, maximizing the soil penetration period. After frost kills the tops, the roots decompose in place, leaving behind improved soil structure and fertility without requiring tillage or incorporation. Strategic implementation for maximum impact success with these soil reviving plants requires strategic timing and placement to maximize their rehabilitative effects. Plant crimson clover and cowpeas in early June for maximum nitrogen fixation before winter, while buckwheat can be planted throughout the summer for quick organic matter production. Establish lupine in areas with known soil toxicity issues where other plants consistently fail. Use daikon radish in compacted areas that need structural improvement, planting in patterns that create comprehensive soil penetration. Consider mixing these plants in polycultures that provide multiple soil benefits simultaneously, such as combining nitrogen-fixing cowpeas with phosphorus-mobilizing buckwheat for complete soil rehabilitation. Ready to transform your worst soil into fertile growing medium using nature's most powerful rehabilitation specialists? Start planting these soil reviving champions this June and witness the incredible transformation they create. Subscribe to Dirt Decoded for more evidence-based soil restoration techniques and share this guide with fellow gardeners ready to decode the secrets of soil revival through strategic plant selection.